Hey all, welcome back with another interesting topic. How I did my CHFI certification, Computer Hacking Forensic Investigation. So forensic, forensic investigation is one of the interesting topics which we have, whether there's any computer crime or there's any cyber crime, how you need to investigate that. So let's see CHFI and then we'll see uh, what is the target audience for the certification. So I'm going to share my screen to see what is the content which we have for CHFI. So how I did my CHFI global certification. Let's see what we have here. Computer hacking forensic investigator. So once you pass this exam, you will become computer hacking forensic investigator. CHFI, computer hacking forensic investigator. So this is a badge from EC Council because I'm certified EC Council instructor. So I'm going to cover in one of my other videos how to become certified EC Council instructor. But let's talk here about CHFI, how I did my CHFI global certification, computer hacking forcing investigation. This is version 10. So earlier we had version nine, but in version 10, a lot of interesting topics are added. So 16 modules, Five days is the official training. So five into eight, 40 hours is the time you need to spend to go through the content. So module one is computer forensic in today's world. Then we have computer forensic investigation process, understanding hard disk and file system, data acquisition and how you duplicate the data. Then you have defending anti-forensic techniques, Windows forensics, Linux and Mac forensics, network forensics, investigating web attacks, dark web forensics, database forensics, cloud forensics, how you investigate email crime, malware forensics, mobile forensics, and IoT forensics. So 16 topics. That's where we are going to understand how you do the forensic investigation related to web, database, cloud, IoT, mobile, malware, email, because you will see that in every organization. You know how you, uh, you investigate your Windows, Linux, Mac, network. So these are interesting topics. So this is about exam, 150 questions in four hours, multiple choice questions, and you need to register in EC Council Exam Center. So you can go to EC Council Exam Center, register here, make an account. You also need to create an account in SPEN portal so that you are going to download all the PDF, all the content from EC Council. So that is what you need to go through to be able to pass this exam and what are the best practices. So you also have labs, very interesting labs. Now to do the investigation, you need to re uh, use some recognized tools which will be accepted in court. It's not a, that you can use any tool here. You need to use the tools. You need to check the hash. You need to calculate the integrity. So there are some registered tools which are being recognized. You have autopsy, you have FTK, you have a lot of other tools which are being recognized, pa uh, parabens, toolkit and all that. Some hardware and some software but it is very difficult. Sometimes you might not be able to afford hardware, but you also have some software tools like all-in-one kits, which you can use here for doing the investigation. You know, you have OS forensics, you have a lot of other different tools in the market nowadays. So these are the resources. Uh, again, EC Council would not appreciate uh, to cheat in exam, but you can just go to Google and search for some practice questions uh, so that you get an idea what kind of questions they have been asking. So you might not be able to see similar questions, but it gives you confidence because time management is very important. 150 questions in four hours. That's where you can see those practice questions. You get an idea what kind of questions they'll be asking in scenario based questions. You will not see the elaborated questions, but you will see multiple choice questions. So what is the prerequisite for this exam? IT forensic professional with basic knowledge of IT cybersecurity, computer forensics and incident response, knowledge of threat factors, so when hackers are smarter, you need, when hackers are smart, as an investigator, you need to be smarter. That's where you will understand if attacker is using uh, anti six, how you defeat that. You know, they try to hide themselves. So how you defeat that? Now we need to go through some standards. We need to go through some lab standard labs. We need to go through some standard training. So this is one of them. So for example, 
I have also a link here, which I'm going to add in description. This gives you some other, uh, you know, uh, idea on why you should go for CHFI, you know, uh, other, other important details, which I have not covered because I've covered only the course content, exam details and how you plan for it. So I am certified uh, forensic investigator. So I have done this exam. So for uh, planning, uh, I would say one month is enough. Eight days to go through course content, two modules each day, five days to go through the lab, three days to go through practice questions and three days to revise. So eight plus five, almost 20 days. You know, if I take five days a week, so that means 20 days, five into four, four weeks. So that makes you almost one month. So you need to spend that because exam is a little tough for CHFI, forensic investigation. Okay, so this is about exam. Now, what kind of uh, what what kind of crowd you expect? Uh, I have seen mostly we have people from defense, like you know, uh, Sharjah police, Dubai police. I have I have been interacting with uh, people from uh, Indian Army, defense, uh, the lieutenant colonels, colonels who have been a part of this training. So those are the kind of people you know from police. You will have people from mostly from police and from military, from navy, who are going uh, through the, you know through this course, or maybe some other uh, people from uh, some private organizations who are working for some detective uh, agencies, investigations. Nowadays, it's very important to see how you solve cyber crime because if there's a cyber crime, uh, well, most of the times these attackers are very smart. They try to hide their intention. So how we need to investigate? So there's there's a law. If someone comes to the crime scene, he takes something out of the scene and he leaves something behind for you to investigate. So that is which gives you motivation. Like if there's a crime, there will be something left by the attacker. That's where, you know, you might have seen if there's a crime, they try to take fingerprints. They try to take, you know, all those things from the crime scene because they know that if attacker has entered to the crime scene, he's going to leave something. He's also going to keep or you know here he's going to leave something he's going to take something so whatever he leaves you need to investigate that is the motivation right so that is the motivation for us to do the investigation one of the very interesting uh, topics uh, or certification which we have is computer hacking forensic investigation so this is from ec council so thank you very much for uh, you know keeping me motivated i will come up with some other videos uh, how I did some other certifications and some other basic networking topics. So keep me motivated. Please do like, subscribe and share. So I'll come up with some other interesting videos. Thank you.